My name's Bill Sanders, and I'm the director curator of the Heritage Museum of Layton. This is uh, one of the historical museums. There's three or four of them in Davis County, but this happens to be the oldest one. We're coming up on our 37th anniversary. The museum was opened in 1980, and then it has been operated continuously since. We have artifacts from Farmington through north, northern part of Davis County. But what's behind me is one of the great treasures of our museum. It's a 1903 Northern automobile. It's one of the first cars you would ever see driving on the streets of Layton. It's uh, what they used to call a horseless carriage because it was self-driven, <laughs> didn't have to be pulled by a horse. And uh, we're really lucky to have this. There's very few of these cars in any museum in the, in the United States. Well, this area where the museum is located, there used to be a military housing place here called Verdland Park. The Layton Commons Park now is where that facility used to stand. And at one time there were 400 barracks type buildings between Gentile Street and where the Layton City Hall is today. Well, we're, we're kind of a, we have a transient community in Layton. There's about 70,000 people live here now. And not all of those people have any historical connection with the city of Layton or the development of Layton. So it's really fun to tell them the history of Layton. So they just moved here from California or Alaska or wherever it is. And we can teach them and, and inform them about the history of Layton, how it grew and our agriculture and our businesses and everything that's happened in the last 150 years here. And that kind of makes them feel more at home because they've gotten some information about their community. It makes them feel closer to the community too. We need to just preserve our history, and that's what we do here. We preserve and display history.